violence is very much in the air these days. What is the cause of violence? Why is it on the increase? In order to find out the answer to some of these questions, I spoke to some of the people who are directly involved. I talked first to a young man who is a convicted soccer hooligan. His name, Ted Steger. Ted, tell me, what drives you to this violence at football matches? Uh, well, I normally take my dad's Vauxhall or a at the nearest <laughs> yeah, okay. What I was meaning was, what are the causes of these fracas on the terraces in which you are involved? Well, of course, now you're asking about the fracas on the terraces, you uh, Well, I'll tell you straight off, I do not start the fight in myself. You mean you are provoked? I never retaliate unless provoked, right? Uh, take last Saturday, for instance. In the stand, I'm waiting for the football match to start. Very patient, quiet. A small, quiet, dangerous, Hitler-type bloke comes and stands beside me, blatantly flaunting a rosette purporting to be representative of the visiting team of thugs who are about to sully the verdant pitch of the 11 good men and true of Starbridge United. This is your team, Starbridge United. Yes, S-T-O-U-B-R-O-D-T. We are the champions, Starbridge. I'm sure you are. What did you do then? Well, faced with this indisputable act of a question, I've done what any normal red-blooded uh, supporter of Starbridge would do. I asked him politely for a light, and while his hands were in his pockets, I laid one on him, didn't I? So without this provocation, no violence would have occurred. Oh, I mean, I never start fires, I only finish them. Thank you, Ted Steger. I won 